Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In the last video, I talked about what I thought was the best way of removing extreme color casts in Affinity Photo, and that was with the Curves tool. Curves works great for most cases, but in certain extreme lighting conditions, like in this image, even this tool may fail. Personally, I have a number of these uneditable images. In search of a solution, I came across this video from popular Photoshop channel Piximperfect, which discussed an AI coloring tool that could handle the problem in a way which according to the host was even better than Photoshop's own tools. Obviously, this piqued my interest and I just had to try it out. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating what I've learned and how to fix uneditable color casts with the said AI coloring tool. This is offered as an alternative solution in case all other traditional tools have failed. However, unlike in the Piximperfect demonstration, which uses Photoshop, I'll be performing the same steps using Affinity Photo just to show that many Photoshop tasks can be done just as well with Affinity. So let's get right into it. Let's perform the demonstration with this photo. Before we resort to the AI tool, let's first try to solve the problem with the white balance adjustment. As you can see, it barely makes a dent. Next, let's try to correct the image with the curves adjustment. I'll try to counteract the blue cast by increasing the brightness of the red channel, then decreasing the brightness of the blue channel, and increasing the brightness of the green channel. As you can see, while the background cast was reasonably corrected, the same cannot be said of the subject, which remains largely unaffected. Since none of the traditional tools work, let's now use the AI tool. I'll discard the curves adjustment. Next, I'll desaturate the image using the HSL adjustment tool. Do note that this step is optional. The AI tool will work with colored images as well, but according to Piximperfect, the results seem to work better with desaturated images. Next, I'll export the image. Next, let's navigate to our AI tool, which is actually a website. You can access the site by navigating to palette.fm. I'll leave a link in the description. A few notes about Palette. It was actually created by just one person, a former Google AI expert. According to him, it has currently millions of users ranging from Japanese pensioners who want to bring old memories to life to Netflix movie makers. To use it, just click Start for free. Click Upload a new image and select your photo. And voila! A colored image is generated without the ugly cast. You can select the preferred look from the range of presets. To my eyes, the one which most represents the scene is this fourth preset, aptly named Colorful Past. Next, let's download the image. Unfortunately, you will need to subscribe to the paid service to download the HD quality content. While I personally did this because I need to fix quite a number of images, in this video, I'll be showing you a workaround in Affinity to get a better quality result out of the low resolution image. Click download. That will download the low resolution image. Next, paste the image into your previous project. As you can see, the image has been added as a layer on top of the layer stack. As expected, the image is extremely small, confirming its low resolution. Next, let's use the move tool to size and position the image correctly to match the background image. You can reduce the opacity and zoom in close. Now 
There, the alignment looks good. As you can see, the image has a ton of unsightly artifacts given its low resolution. The good news is we don't need the actual image, just its color. Let's transfer the color from the top image over to the desaturated image. How do we do that? We do that through the color blend mode. By the way, if you want to know more about the color blend mode, do watch my video on that topic. With the top layer selected, choose color blend mode. And voila, the colors of the top image have been transferred to the desaturated image, giving out a high quality result. Here is the before and the after. Here is another example of palette in action, this time fixing an overly orange cast. So as you've seen, the results are impressive. However, you might be thinking that one drawback of this approach is the colors might not be represented authentically by the AI. One way to mitigate this is to combine elements of the original image with a AI colored image. Let's demonstrate this once again with the previous image. Once again, let's use the curves adjustment to color correct the image. As expected, the background is reasonably fixed, but the subject is not. Let's paste in the AI colored image. Next, with the top layer selected, use the selection brush to select the subject. Click the layer mask button to mask out the background. I'll reduce the opacity for a more natural look. Here is the original. Here is the AI colored image. And here is the blended image. As you can see, while the AI colored image with palette is very good on its own, the blended image goes a step further to more authentically represent the scene. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you know of any other AI tools like Palette, which are genuinely useful for fixing difficult photo problems. I'm always looking for the best tools to get the best out of photos. Also, let me know what you think of Palette. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.